Hello and welcome back to Tom's Tales. Uh, today's tale is a story about what, back when I was in uh, basic training. Um, I had stepped on the bottom bunk and there was a guy, McReady or McGregor or McDowell, something like that. Anyway, he stepped on the bottom bunk on the other side of the aisle of me, as me. And um, apparently um, he had contracted the crabs by uh, sleeping with a female recruit during basic training. Um, we had segregated basic training back then. However, you know, we were in different barracks, but in the evenings they let us run around the barracks for exercise. Apparently, he had sex with her in a dumpster and had gotten the crabs. I don't know how you get crabs from a dumpster. I think you get them from the girl, but I would have figured they would have picked that up, but I don't know. Anyway. It wasn't like the crabs crawled across the aisle there and then got up into my bunk. But, you know, I've never had crabs before, so I didn't know what the hell was going on. Anyway, the day that I found out about it, um, we're on the rifle range. So I'm getting ready to walk into the latrine. And someone said, hey, did you hear about what happened to McGregor, McGregor, McGregor McDowell, or whatever his name was? And I was like, no. They were like, he got crabs. He's getting kicked out of the army. I was like going, what, what the hell? Oh, my God. What? And... I wasn't scratching up here, I was scratching down there. I mean, it was, uh, yeah, it was starting back then. And um, I didn't even go to sick call for it until <laughs> I was in AIT. It was months later. I mean, weeks later. And uh, I go to my drill sergeant and I'm like, uh, drill sergeant, I need to get a sick call slip. And he's like, what's wrong, probably? You don't look sick to me. And uh, I'm like, uh, I, I, I think I have crabs. And I start bawling. I mean, you know, I was like 18 year old kid, so you know, whatever. But he's like, "Don't worry, private. We'll, we'll, they'll hook you up." And he writes a sick call slip, gives me, "Don't take care of you. Don't worry about it." And um, so I go to sick call, and I'm sitting in the waiting room there, waiting for them to call me. And uh, it was a little short female black specialist that was sitting at the counter there. She calls my name. I, I walk up. She has a sick call slip sitting right there in front of her and she's like what are you here for private and uh, I was like well it's, it's right there on, on the sick call slip and uh, she's like I can read private what are you here for and I was like but it's right there and she's like private what are you here for and I was like I have crabs okay I think I have crabs and she was like go have a seat the doctor will be with you shortly <laughs> and so I go back to sit down and you know the waiting room was pretty full but I go to sit back down. I was like, Phew. everyone like spread to the further seats away from me. So I sat down, had plenty of room, you know, all around me and everything. And uh, anyway, the doctor calls me in and uh, he goes, so how long have you had these crabs? And I was like, uh, it's probably about two months. He's like, really? I mean, how many have you seen then in your underwear and in your bunk? And I was like, I haven't seen any, sir. And he's like, private, if you've had crabs for... A couple of months, you'd be, they'd be crawling down your legs right now. They'd be all over the place. You'd see them everywhere. I said, like, I'm sorry, sir, I haven't seen any. He's like, squat, let me take a look. And so he's up there, he's taking a look with flashlight and everything. He's like, private, what you have here isn't crabs. It's the worst case of jockeys I've seen in my entire life. Uh, we'll issue you some cream and uh, just spread it on the area. Uh, for the next couple of days, it, uh, it should go away. But for God's sakes, if you ever have something like this ever happen to you again, private, you tell somebody about it. 